All right, so uh, I got some more uh, products I need to try out from this company, Runkle. They send me free gear every month, new stuff to try out, completely free. The biggest thing with them that I like is all of their stuff is sold through Amazon. So I can use my affiliate links. Like if you, if you buy something from this video, go to the links down in the description and buy something from them, I'll get credit for it and I'll earn a commission on it. So it's almost like a sponsorship. There's a, the opportunity to make money there. Most pro staffs don't give you that opportunity. This one just happens to work out that way. But anyway, uh, the last video I did on their products, they sent me this uh, little tackle bag, bag folder, I guess. Do we call it with all the individual Ziplocs? And I really didn't think I would be using it very much, but I actually use this thing all the time, like because. The type of, I had to replace the clip on it. The clip that came on it was kind of cheap and it didn't last very long, but that's not a big deal. The bag itself is awesome. It's mostly waterproof, except the sides. Uh, in situations where I can't carry a whole bunch of stuff with me, this is perfect. And most of the fishing I do, I can't carry a bunch of stuff with me anyway. Like a lot of the stuff I do is small creeks and you know, things like that where I'm in really tight quarters and I can't, I don't, can't have, I don't have room for a bunch of rods, I don't have room for a bunch of, for a big tackle bag. This works perfect for that. And when they sent me this, this was like the bonus. They, like I do a review on it too, but it was also a bonus. What they really wanted me to review were the pliers. And I, I did, but I didn't really get thorough on them. And uh, these were pretty neat little pliers they, they sent me. They work, they get the job done. Uh, the, the blade, the line cutter on it is one of the best I've used. It cuts through braid like, like nothing. Better than a pair of scissors. Uh, but as you can see, it's just flat metal. Like it was made out of a piece of sheet metal. They just cut the pieces out and put it together. So it's their, their lower end product, a cheaper one. This month, they were originally supposed to send me some other gear to try out, but something happened in the manufacturing process and it was delayed. So they sent me two things to try out. They sent me a set of lip grippers, which is awesome. These are a lot bigger than the ones I've had before. And the thing that annoyed me the most about the other ones was this, the, the strap on it was stretchy. So like you see a lot of people trying to weigh their fish with the lip grippers and the thing just stretches out all the way. So you can't really get an accurate weight on it if the fish is touching the ground. So this doesn't stretch, but it's a well-made material. Uh, so that's, that's a big plus. It is heavier than my other set of lip grippers, so the ones that I originally had, like this, I cut the elastic off of it because it was pointless. And uh, these are these are pretty cheap. I mean, I'll post a link for these too if it's even still available. But I tried to use these on a bigger fish, on a big red, and he got to shaking and twisted them sideways. So they they're loose now. They don't grip as well as they used to. So I really needed a new pair, a new set. So I'm glad they sent me these. And they're bigger and sturdier, so I could probably use these on the bigger fish like that too. But once again, that was just a bonus. The main thing I was supposed to, repl to review was the another set of pliers, and these have the uh, the coil lanyard on there with the clip, which is awesome. All the stuff they sent me, since I'm I'm planning on getting a kayak in the future, it's all stuff that I will be using on the kayak, like the small tackle bag there. I can't carry a bunch of stuff with me on a kayak. And this, with the attachment, the tether, that's perfect. And it's a much bigger set of pliers. And not only is it bigger, but it's they're real. They're, it's not a piece of sheet metal that was cut into shape. They're actual pliers. They've got the line cutter. They've got the, some crimpers in there. And uh, it's even still got the uh, the hook on the end for the o-rings which if you see this one this is a huge bump on the end of it and when I did I had to cut a piece out when I did my fly fishing video the last one I had to try I didn't carry my regular pliers on me so I was trying to use these to get the fly out of a fish's mouth and I couldn't do it I couldn't grip it because of that big hook on the end and uh, so I, I cut that part out of the video but these that hook on the end is much much smaller so it's still there, that's for the like the O-rings and split rings to quick, quickly open them up to get stuff off. And that's still there to utilize, but it doesn't get in the way like the other ones did. And these are much, much more well made. 
So these are, I'm definitely using these more. But uh, yeah, that's what they sent me to review. And uh, uh, I wasn't even sure how I would review them because I, in the last video, I like I caught a fish. I didn't even need to use the pliers. In the last review video, I just used the pliers anyway, even though it wasn't really necessary. But I just went fishing the other day, and so this is going to be a couple of clips that I can't make a full video out of because the bite has been dead lately. So here's just a couple of clips at a small creek I was fishing the other day where I actually needed to use some of these uh, the products they sent me. I wasn't even planning on review reviewing them or even using them, but I had them with me, and it turned out I needed them. But uh, yeah, you'll see all that here. Uh, I'll put links down in the description. Oh. I couldn't even see what that was. Oh, there's a bass there. Just a little bitty one. First fish I've caught in a while. Stupid. Oh, he slipped off. Got him that time. Stop, damn it. I also got some lip grippers from from Runkle. Same people that gave me the pliers. For I use them for overzealous fish. This one's got a funky lip. Stop it. There it is. Feisty. I can't get the hook out for whatever reason. Dude, come on, keep up this energy though. What's up with this hook? It doesn't want to, the hook's not sturdy enough to pop it out like that. So I guess I'll have to use my uh, wrinkled pliers that they sent me. There, that worked. He's got a funky lip. Looks like he got. Is that? Yeah. This is a nice one. Especially for this area. I mean, most people wouldn't consider this a very big one. It's probably not even two pounds. But considering where I'm fishing, the 
I'll start shaking. This is why I get lip grippers. Oh, well, he actually shook the hook out of his mouth, so I don't... 